July 20th, uh, sorry, 21st. Once again, July 21st, it's Thursday. I just want to give you guys this footage for a bit. Got here a little bit late than normal. Normally, I um, try to catch it right when it, uh, you know, um, right at the horizon before the sun, you know, you start seeing the sun so you can actually see the planet start appearing. But I think I was uh, 15 minutes late this morning. That's okay. I just want to share this. Great times. Great times, man. <clears throat> Great times. Wow. Alright, I'm going to turn up my phone like that. Kind of tilt my phone in an upward motion, like I'm pointing up towards the sun, so you can. This way, you can see it a little bit different. The outlining of the planet is different, but it's there. It didn't go anywhere, and it's not going to go anywhere either. That's the beautiful thing about it. But at the same time, there's a curse that comes with that, and um, for the ones who are familiar with what's going on, they kind of they know what's coming. All right, let's see right there. I kind of like switch the uh, the way the camera's recording, so it it, it kind of like the glare of the sun looks start looking a little bit different. But you see what I'm seeing, guys? See right? Yep. Something going on there. Keep in mind, I've gotten questions, people asking me, well, if it's so important, why it's not in the news? This will never be in the news. Let's leave it at that and, 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 and carry on. You see, this is, it's, it's, I know, it's, it's really sad when I see when cognitive dissonance is, 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 is holding people back from actually seeing what the truth is and cognitive dissonance guys it's it's like a disease um for the ones who have never uh um came across this word before i heard the word or whatever you we all grew up in a belief system you know we are grew up to believe you know most people or you know there's a god stuff like that and i i, I don't mean to use god as an example and there's a reason for that too because what we're looking at in ancient history says uh whoever created men whoever created men this is written down is on that planet you know what i'm trying to say to you whoever or whatever or whatever being created adam and eve is on this planet right here okay so is this tying with the return of uh, of christ absolutely absolutely guys i'm not just in away from the bible all it is i'm giving you guys visual look of what the bible talks about what to look for the signs in the skies these are the signs in the skies these are the days folks it's right there i know what's coming earthquake tsunami tsunami at a point that will never we have never seen before earthquake at a point that we have never seen before um tycoon not hurricane tycoon man you know what my dream is guys i'm gonna share it on this video my goal one day i don't want to be around people i want to be away from people and i want to get my hand in the mud as much land as possible but i want to build a container home a container home is one of the only home out there that can withstand what's coming especially when it comes to hurricane and the weather pattern all right i'm thinking ahead because of the steel structure of the foundation guys if you're thinking about moving please you want to get away from large cities guys 2028 something is going to happen 
and this had to do with it. And when it happened, all hell broke loose, man. All right? And that's not long from now. That's, what, six years? Before you know it, guys, six years come, gone, just come and gone already. Time is flying so fast, and people need to wake up. Famine. Oh, boy. Famine is real. Food shortage is real. It's coming. Stack up on food. Plant your food. And you do not want to tell people you have this. Because, guys, food is more important than gold right now. Food is the most important thing you could possibly have. Take all the... F Listen, guys don't saw what Bill Gates did. Guys didn't see what he did. He owned all the farmlands. All the farmlands. Bill Gates have all the food in the world. He owned most of the farmlands. Most of them. But he, what, the guy want to give away his money. He said he no longer want his wealth. Because he, he come to realize it doesn't make anything. It doesn't mean anything. The money doesn't mean anything, guys. I've never, tr I've tried, I've never tried barbecue hundred dollar bill before. But if somebody out there try a barbecue hundred dollar bill, please tell me how it tastes because. If somebody said to me, you can have all the money in the world or all the food in the world, which way are you going to go? Well, Bill Gates won all the food in the world. I'm going to all the food in the world. Bill Gates won all the food in the world. His hands on all the food in the world. In, in the U.S. You saw what he did. Was that smart? <sighs> that was a stroke of genius. I'm calling it what it is. That's what that was. But the average person cannot process that. I can. I saw what he did. He don't care about the money. Guys, see, y'all take my money. I don't want it anymore. It's not important. Look at that in the sky. How can money stop you from that? Can money save you from that? No. You know who's going to live through that, guys? The guys with the food. Listen to me carefully. The people with the food. These are the ones that's going to live through this. It is that simple. The one with the food and the one who know how to survive. Self-sufficient. These are the people that will do so. I've learned as much as I can and whatever I learn, I'm passing it on. Most of the information I've gotten about this is from Sumerian tablets. Also, there's a book called uh, the Colburn Bible. It was actually written by Egyptian, but the, these Egyptians were Sumerians that came over from Mesopotamia. There's, there was a Bible called the Colburn Bible. There's another one called the 12th Planet written by Zachariah Stitchin. Great book. What Zachariah Stitchin did was just de decode Sumerian tablet. And they talk about this because the Sumerian culture lived through this. They know what's coming. So I just want to share this with you guys. I can't stay too long, but God bless y'all. Y'all be safe. Peace. Love you all, man.